Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. Now let us discuss about discrete mathematics, which is one of the most important part of the mathematics and nowadays it's very useful topics are there in that. Now let us see some introduction report. What is discrete mathematics? Discrete mathematics is the part of mathematics devoted to the study of discrete elements like distinct or uncounted elements. For example, let us see how many ways are there to choose a valid password on a computer system. For example, we have the word K E Y S keys. From this four letter word, we have to select words with or without meaning like uh, put K first as it is, interchange E that is Y E S and put K and put S Y E like uh, next one interchange K that is S K Y E like we can select lot of words for this there is a some principle like a counting principle which is more useful to select the words from given particular words this is more useful in uh, selection of the computer passwords and computer system. Next one, to choose the shortest distance between two cities by using land transportation. For example, here city A is here and city B is here. Here, there is no direct route between A and B, but another cities are there here, city E and city F is here. Now, we have to reach from city A to B through A and F only. For example, we can reach from A to E from A to B or from A to F and F to B or we can go and uh, here one more way is we can do A to E from E to F and F to B like uh, different roadways we can select to reach from A to B for this for this road construction so we need some way to select the shortest path from A to B for this reason we need uh, some graph functions graph theory and graph function which is included in discrete mathematics next one what is the passing probability in competitive exams in competitive exams the thousands of students appearing for particular students what is the passing probability we can find by using discrete probability theory next one how many valid internet address in a country for a particular country there are millions of internet address are there. So, we can count by using counting principles some other ways. By using discrete math mathematics method, we can find the valid internet address for a particular country. Next one, how can you sort out easily the courier letters? In a city, a courier company is there. They are receiving lot of courier letters every day. So they have to distribute to the particular address. There is a 
lot of sorting way is there for the easier and quicker manner we have to use the discrete mathematics method to sort out the particular uh, letters to the particular places for above discussion we need to learn the discrete structure and techniques to solve like above problems the main reason for the growth of discrete mathematics is that information is stored and manipulated by a computer in a discrete manner why we study discrete mathematics there are several reason for studying discrete mathematics first you can develop your mathematical maturity means for particular situation how to solve your problem by using proper mathematical techniques for that we can use discrete mathematics uh, rules and theories then we can uh, easily solve such a problems it is the gateway to more advanced courses in several parts of mathematical sciences like computer science including data structures algorithms database theory automation theory compiler theory computer security and operating systems and research etc there are several topics in discrete mathematics like sets relations functions etc logic and proofs algorithms number theory and cryptography introduction and recursion induction and recursion counting principles discrete probability graphs trees boolean algebra modeling and computations etc from above discussion we can understand nowadays the discrete mathematics ideas more and more useful to solve challenging problems in shorter and easier ways